Hi Iguanas, welcome back to Dinosaur Week. I'm so excited to tell you what happened to planet Earth. We were learning that Pangea was actually when all of the land mass on planet Earth was stuck together. As the continents started to actually move apart from each other, the world started to change and oceans started to cover more spaces where these dinosaurs lived. This actually made the world really lush and filled with lots of plants and lots of vegetation. Really tall, tall, big coniferous trees now grew so high. There were tons of ferns everywhere all over the ground and it started to look a little bit like this. Would you like to hear the sound of what it might have sounded like? Let's listen. You're gonna hear running water. You're going to hear plant life. You're going to hear so many sounds. And this was the home for the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs were thriving. They were eating. All of the herbivores were eating all of their plants. All of the carnivores, the meat-eating dinosaurs, could run and chase the smaller dinosaurs. And everybody had plenty of food to eat. And the dinosaurs at this point started to grow and grow and grow until they were so big. They weren't even as tall as humans. They were taller than the ceiling. The dinosaurs had become ginormous. Would you like to learn about some of my favorite dinosaurs? Let's actually do something really silly. Let's have a dinosaur catwalk. Wait right there. We are gonna put this red carpet on right here and we are gonna actually talk about six dinosaurs. These dinosaurs have so many different amazing things about them and let's learn about a couple of them right now, shall we? I think we might need some music for this. Ah, perfect, okay, so who is on the dinosaur catwalk today? Let's check out my friends. Triceratops. Look at, we have one, two, three Triceratops here today. Triceratops are really cool dinosaurs. They have a shield of armor all the way around their heads, which protects them from other dinosaurs who might want to eat them for lunch. Triceratops are herbivores. They only eat plants, and although they look really vicious, they only use their one, two, three horns for defending themselves in case some cheeky carnivores come around. Triceratops, you're our first dinosaur on the catwalk and we love you. Can you blow a kiss if you love Triceratops? Goodbye Triceratops. The next dinosaur we're gonna learn about today is the Stegosaurus. Give a clap for the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus is a super cool looking dinosaur. The Stegosaurus has big armored plates all along the edges of its back. And don't forget to check out its tail. A spiky tail was really important for the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus was very, very, very gentle and actually was a herbivore too, enjoying to eat plants and just living a peaceful life. But poor Stegosaurus was often hunted by other carnivorous dinosaurs, carnivores that wanted to actually eat them for lunch. Run, little Stegosaurus! Don't worry, if a dinosaur came behind you, you could use your tail to whack them away. That spiky tail was pretty good defense. Let's give a clap to Stegosaurus. <laughs> So those two dinosaurs are two of the dinosaurs that lived long ago during the Mesozoic era. And we're gonna learn some more dinosaurs the next video. Hope you had fun.